Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardo. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. One of a kind girl. I was brought into this world wrapped up in pearls. I love to mingle, though my husband reminds me I'm not single. I meet and greet both the famous and the elite. I ride in limousines drinking the finest champagne, wearing first dazzling diamond jewelry. A girl can't complain. I live in upscale life. Dining in the finest restaurants, eating the best caviar for free. And no matter how much I Darlings, I'm Cognac Willalene, and we are here at the Araya for a pool party and an art exhibit. And I am here with this television star. He he's on a fabulous show, and it's produced by Marvel, I believe. Yes, right? Introduce yes. yourself, doll. Hi, my name is Jaime Ceballos, and the show is called Cloak and Dagger. Cloak and Dagger. This is yeah. a fabulous new show that I'm hearing so much about. Yeah, yeah, it's on Freeform. So tell my audience what this show is all about. The show is about two teenagers that get uh, acquainted with one another and they realize that they both have superpowers and when they get together the superpowers become stronger. But you're not a teenager. I'm not a teenager. Just a few years ago. Tell my audience, uh, just, a, just a couple of years just ago, of years. tell my audience your role in this particular TV show. I play Father Delgado. He's a... Uh, a counselor, he's a priest. A yeah, he's a priest, and at the at the high school, and I I counsel uh, Tyrone, our uh, lead of the show. He plays uh, the character Cloak. Okay, it sounds like a lot of fun. Sounds like you're having a blast yeah, on that yeah. television show. What do you think of this event today? Are you an art lover? Is that why you're here? I'm here because I'm an art lover, and a lot of my friends have some great paintings. I come from an art background, and I actually have one drawing myself that I painted earlier this morning. How fabulous yeah. is that? Wow. Yeah. So, what, tell my audience, what do you think of the Hamptons? I love the Hamptons. I grew up in Queens and in Long Island, so... Me too. Yeah, what part? Well, actually, I grew up in Rosedale, Queens. Rosedale? So you know where that is, right? Yeah, I grew up in Bayside and in Great Neck, New York, in, in Long Island. And my husband grew up in Forest Hills. There you go. And uh, now I live in Lido Beach. Nice, nice. I love it. Yeah, I like the Hamptons. I actually love the Hamptons. I, I've been in L.A. for about 11 years, so now I'm just kind of coming. I just got back to New York and getting reacquainted with some friends and some spots in the Hamptons. And, uh, and going to some cool parties. Going to some really cool parties because obviously you're here. And, uh, and yeah, I, sp I, sp I love the Hamptons, too. I love it in the winter time too. I, you know, that's funny that you should say that. So do I. It's yeah. a great country place. Yeah, it's a great it's place to come and relax, you know, go to a nice warm fire and a mansion. I was going to say that. It reminds me of, like, burning wood fire and apple cider or something like that, right? It's really beautiful here in the Hamptons yeah. all year round. You should come back and during the Hamptons International Film Festival. I will. I'll be. I'll be definitely coming for that and some some red carpets and maybe the following year submit a film to them. Now tell my 
speculates a little bit more about what you're going to be up to next as an actor. Will you be still? This is yeah. a. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's ongoing. Uh, we start filming season two uh, very soon. We shoot in Louisiana, and so I am back to Louisiana in just maybe maybe four or five weeks. I'll be back there. So be working Sounds like a lot of fun yeah. darling sounds like a lot of fun yeah. if we want to learn more about you as a fabulous actor where can we go my, do you have a website my instagram instagram slash jaime ceballos j-a-i-m-e-z-e-v-a-l-l-o-s spell it again j-a-i-m-e-z-e-v-a-l-l-o-s gorgeous darling give Thank me a you. kiss Thank you. Thank you so and much. And we'll be back in a moment with more interviews right here in the Hamptons. Keep watching Pink Champagne Kisses. I'm Cognac Willow Lane, and we are here at the R.I. Uh, Hotel and Restaurant in the Capri Hotel, right here in Southampton. It's all about an art show, and it's all about a pool party. And I am here drinking Rosé, Masson Rosé, which is the sponsor. I'm here with a Hollywood producer. He's one of the sponsors of this event okay. today, and he's going to introduce himself to the camera. Hi, my name is Lyndon Brown from Inner Circle Productions. Now tell my audience, you are sponsoring this event. Why are you, are you a lover of art? Are you a patron of the arts? Yes, I am. Actually, one of my nephews is, has his art here on display, but I have a lot of friends who are artists, and since I do film production, and I'm also an architectural consultant, and I do design in the city, it's all one conglomeration of art, everything that we do in life. Tell my audience, you're an architect, basically. Yes. Was that your first choice, or did you always have the passion to make films? Sounds like you really wanted to be a filmmaker first. Actually, I was doing some acting, but then doing architecture and putting things together from scratch, it comes in handy that Thing, everything goes in a pattern, everything is, everything is put together, so I like being behind the scenes, seeing something go from paper to the screen, it's, 
it's like building a building from paper to an actual building, brick and mortar. I absolutely adore that myself. You know, I do my own editing from my filming, from like when I do my interviews with celebrities. I do it myself. I, nobody else does it, just me. My husband helps me with the filming, but I do the editing, so I know what you mean. Right. So, so do you like to, so you like to create films? Yes. And, and television? You're into TV? Uh, yes, we're doing some TV with, um, with Jaime Zavellos, who you spoke to earlier. Him and I work on a few projects that he's brought me in, but also, we also create scripts. We have a few things that we, we have ideas we're working on right now. Fascinating. You are a fascinating gentleman. Fascinating. What do you think is the biggest challenge in production and film? The biggest challenge is money. Yeah, always. Always money. Always hard to get backers to invest in your project. Yes, it is. That's why you get either groups or friends to get to help you out with your first small projects and you build up from there. Everything comes with reputation. The more they know you, the more people trust you. What do you think is your greatest accomplishment so far? Personally or business-wise? Could be both. You know, my children, my wife. You're very proud of your children. Yes, wife and children. Business-wise is starting this company and, and the way it's building up slowly. We're taking our time to get it done. What are you working on right now? Right now we're working on a couple of, we just shot um, a, TV, a TV pilot. We're gonna try to shop that around to get some people to produce it. And also we have a film that's already on Amazon, Amazon Prime, which is a summoning. But we also have a couple of scripts in on production that we're working on. To be in one of your movies. Do you ever show your films at the at the Tribeca Film Festival or the Hamptons International Film Not Festival? Yet. We actually have. I'm a producer on a film that's coming up with um, John Gallagher, that's actually being tossed around the Hampton Film Festival. So we're waiting to hear from that. Get in. It's difficult. That Hamptons International Film Festival. I know people that are filmmakers that live, that come from the Hamptons and they couldn't get their movie in the Hamptons tonight. Is that crazy? It's crossed on this one. Get in. It's not easy. It's a very difficult process. But I'm, but I'm sure you'll get in. You'll find a way. You will find a way. Well, not me. Well, we have the name of John Gallagher to help us out. So that's true too. John Gallagher is a, is a very prestigious name. Now, if we want to learn more about you as a filmmaker, as a producer. Do you have a website? Do you have a website of your production company? I don't have a website. A website of production, but I'm an IMBD. Lyndon A.V. Brown. Is that with an E at the end? Lyndon, L-Y-N-D-O-N, A.V. Brown with no E. No E. Okay, beautiful. So you're on IMDB. But can we follow you on Instagram? Yes, it's, it's L-A-V-B Brown or Lyndon A.V. Brown. IG. Gorgeous. Let's toast. Let's toast. The bees are here. Let's toast. That's okay. Salud. Salud. And we'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more interviews right here in the Hamptons. Keep watching. Pink Thanks, champagne guys. kisses. Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac with Elaine, and we are here at an art pool party right here at the Araya Hotel and Capri, Araya Restaurant and Capri Hotel. And I'm here with one of the artists who's displaying her artwork. She's fabulous. Introduce, your, introduce yourself to the camera. Hi, my name is Melosa Basquia. Melosa, tell us about your art. Um, well, this is uh, pretty much my art debut. Um, I'm uh, the youngest first cousin of Jean-Michel Basquiat and um, I'm just uh, here to show you my art. You're very proud of your yes, art, right? I'm very proud. Tell my audience, how many pieces are you showing this afternoon? Uh, five. Five pieces. Yeah. How long did it take you to put all of this art together? Oh, these are actually years in the making. This has been my therapy. Years, right? Yeah. Years in the making. Now, so. 
tell my audience where your inspiration came for the art. Well, my inspiration is since I was a little girl, I've um, admired my cousin's art and the impact that he's made on this world. In this world, and um, I've always looked up to him, and that's where my inspiration comes from. It's just the legacy of my cousin. Can you explain to my audience the type of art? Is it surrealism? Is it is it? abstract. Can you tell us what kind of art it is? Well, I, I combined um, uh, text with image and it's, uh, I'm, I'm a Christian. I'm a, um, I'm an unashamed Christian and... Unashamed. unashamed. What does that mean, unashamed? It means I have no problem. Like, I'm, I'm unashamed to tell people that I'm a Christian. Why would you be ashamed? Because you, you shouldn't be ashamed, you're right. <laughs> but um, Silly. you're right, you're right. So um, my, it's Christian art and um, a lot of it is uh, is from time that I've spent with God and um, just my worship and my prayer with him and I've put pretty much my life, my heart, my legacy, my testimony on canvas and it's just been a, it's been a long process but I'm here. You do a beautiful job Thank in you. creating beautiful images and beautiful text. Thank you. Can you tell my audience where we can learn more about you as an artist? Do you have a website? I'm on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter at Mind of Melosa. Spell Mind, M I N D of O F Melosa, M E L O S A. Beautiful. Thank you. Give me a kiss. Thank you. Hey, don't go away yet. We'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more interviews right here in the Hamptons. Keep watching. Pink Champagne Kisses. Welcome back, darlings. We're here at the Araya, and it's all about the pool party, and it's all about the art show. But I'm here with one of the fabulous artists today, and she's going to introduce herself to the camera. I'm Sunny Hong from New York City. I'm showing three paintings up in the corner. And uh, one of them, matter of fact, was shown in uh, one art space in Tribeca and for a week. Opening was Tuesday, and I just took down that paintings, and then I drove out here, spent the night, and showing tonight. So tell my audience, um, what do you think about the Hamptons? Do you like the Hamptons? Well, I know Hampton very well because Stephen Talkhouse is one of my favorite things. My oh, paintings, yes, Stephen Talkhouse, yes. Yes. Out in Amagansett. Yeah, Amagansett is actually one of my favorite plays. Indian Wells. A lot of people don't even really consider that the Hamptons. They don't even consider that the Hamptons, you know that. But it's like up to least to Hampton. Who knows, who's been in New York for a while, who's been in Hamptons for a while, I think value Amagansett. Now tell my audience about your paintings. You have three beautiful paintings that you're showing. Tell us the theme behind these paintings. My paintings basically is about emotions. I'm very interested in human emotions and express that in the color and the shape. Each painting to tell the stories, a story of my virgins. There is sometimes I'm inspired by your energies. Then there's time, other time I go to model because there's so much happening in my life. I must foreshadow my soul. So in a way, it's like a writer. My painting is about expressing our emotions, particular in the life. Life is like rhythm and blues. My painting is like rhythm and blues. Only celebrity I ever made a painting because I strive for the very original I'm a former fashion designer in New York City, and I was a painter from when I was very little. I grew up in Atelier in Korea. So whenever I paint, I was always shining. So that's where I am. Always shining, darling. That's important, to shine, yes. to glow, like yes. a star. Yes. Yes. But, uh, my each time when I experience every day that when a guy who made a music on the spot when he felt something overwhelming that inspired, that inspired me to, him. to in my uh, uh, gallery sections called the, insp the infatuations if a, if guy can make that in the sound without words I can do that in a painting. And that's what they are. 
What made you go from becoming a fashion designer uh, into becoming an artist? I mean, usually... I came to New York City to be a painter. And I applied for the very last day for Hunters. And uh, Federal Express my application, I didn't get in, but I had to make a living. So I become a fashion designer with a portfolio and fine art degree. I see. Yeah. But eventually, you know, what really makes us... How can I spend 12 hours straight until that painting is finished? Only thing I can do that is painting. <laughs> Everything else, I have to stay very focused in the interview too with you <laughs> and talk about because I get distracted by very visually every second. But when Why? I paint, do you feel like every time? And I go on and I have to make sure, set the time, just to shower and go out so I know that tomorrow is the next day. Do you feel that when you see something, a certain thing, that you have to paint it? Is, does it just like hit you like that? I feel like I'm master. If you see my site, I'm a master already a representation art. And those are my new. I'm very stylized. Now I'm going to do more slight abstraction. I've been doing a lot of ink drawing. What I have to do is literally bring the paper. If somebody videotape and I would ask you to guide you make a marks and I would make mark and that's what I did with the Diago and his friend when they he invited me to gallery uh, he said would you like to show in my uh, my gallery I said sure then he texted me come to the opening after the energy was great ev everything in life is about energy so energy was great I said I'm taking these people to my studio so senior curator their director they all came they all participate in one of my drawings, it's in my Instagram and, and, a, and a place. And I made a Diago and Friends. Then two months go by, I'm about to go to Iceland, the text message come in. I have a space, would you like to be and participate in it? And I go, I'm traveling. I said, um, next time, thank you so much. Then I go, Something tells me I made a big mistake. There's gonna be on my break. I'm gonna go to the downtown and there's my chance I've been waiting. You know, you never know about these things, but you know. I canceled it. You can I canceled it and I had a show on. He locked me on that day. I think I'm a, not sure, but I was a, one of the first artists to show again for the Women's Month in March. And the text message came in. I told Jody we're going on to celebrate for many different reasons. I'm gonna launch in downtown now. I have several gallery who Tell us, about, tell us about some of the galleries that are showing your work. No, I mean, that was the first one, but he the just, I'm meeting. What now? Tell my boys where you're showing now. It just finished Friday, and I took it down, came here to the one art space. Well, where was that? Oh, that was in Tribeca. Tribeca. Okay. okay. Well, uh, where are you going to be next after this? I want to give my next uh, Spectrum Miami. Uh, oh, I love Miami. Send me an email that you would you like to be in uh, um, my that's VIP gonna be, list. That's going to be in December, December isn't it? Message me. Will that be in December, December at Art Base? Puzzle. This is my second year. I love Art Miami. I yeah, love Art Miami in New York. I said to myself, I don't have to go hustle so much. But in New York City, only in New York City, I'm already, I'm already going places. If I show you a text, I was so high, I couldn't even focus. He says, sky is the limit, and I would like to help you, and let's talk about a solo show. So when he came to my studio, and Diago friend, I hope you guys look it up, and in my Instagram or something. There's so well, much. Uh, well, tell my, well, going to tell my audience to do that, and that's what I want you to yes. tell me right Sunny now. Sunny Hong, tell at Sunny Hong. Where can we follow you? What's your Instagram? Uh, at Sun He Hong. Spell it. Sun like up there, S U N. He like boy, H E. Hong like Hong Kong. Sun He Hong. S U N H E H O N G. You're gorgeous. Give me a kiss. You too. We'll be back in Beautiful. a moment, Beautiful. darlings, with more interviews in the Hamptons. Keep I watching. Like Big champagne kisses. Let's toast. I don't know if you got that. Let's toast. <laughs> Did you get that? Yes. It's going. Go oh, no, no. I said I love your eyelashes. I truly mean it. Whenever you blink your eyes, you look like a Barbie doll. We'll be back in a moment, darlings. More interviews in the hands. Pick champagne kisses. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell.
Crybaby Productions, darlings.